Hello, it's Mark. And today we're going to take a look at the new M4 Mac Mini. And you got three Thunderbolt 5s on the back and two USB Cs on the front. And this is about it for instructions. And here we are 2024 Mac Mini, 16 gigabytes of RAM now, upgraded from the 8 and 256 gigabytes of storage. We still have that low amounts of storage, but more on that later. And here is a Ken Burns clip that I already rendered, but we will take a look at that. I'll show you what I did here, but this is 8K footage from the A7R5. And this is difficult footage. 8K footage is difficult footage to edit with Final Cut Pro, really any nonlinear editing system. But let's go ahead and uh, walk through what I did earlier. So let's do the Ken Burns. And in this mode here, especially just playing back 8 footage in general, but you know, adding a Ken Burns effect to the, I know there's not a lot, you know, in the timeline here. There is almost 18 minutes worth of footage though. And as you see here, it looks pretty good. Now, one thing is take a look at the guitar. And if you're looking at this on a 4K monitor, now I'm, I'm filming this with a, uh, this is a, that, that monitor you see there on the screen, that's 8K. But if you look at the view, if you click on view and you go down here, it's, it's set by default to better performance. Now, look at it now. Now, when you go into this mode, now look how much sharper and better the image looks. If you're looking at this on a 4K display, you're going to see it. Now, looking at that, when you go in that mode, that will choke Final Cut Pro and choke any Apple computer unless you have one of the, um, the Mac Studios. It just has trouble with it. You just have to stick with better performance. But here, it's doing great. I don't see any error messages. Usually we'll get a drop frame message. Haven't seen that yet. Scrubbing around the timeline, it all looks good. I'm just trying to get it to, to have an issue. Also, if you look in the top left, it hasn't finished rendering yet. We would see some drop frames. We would see some stuttering at, at least. And I don't see that either. And I'm going to add some stabilization to this clip and I'm going to let it render because usually a lot of times, especially when I'm working with the AK clip, I kind of have to let it render first. So let's just see what it does. Now it is taking a little bit of time, usually it'd be a little bit quicker, but I think there was some clips from before that hadn't finished rendering and it's working on those. But I have to say for what this machine costs and only with 16 gigabytes of RAM, pretty amazing. Okay, so that there, that little bit of that warpage, that is from the Final Cut Pro stabilizations, which I almost never use because um, it's not a very good one. But I just want to add as many things to what I'm working on here. And it's usually not that difficult. to give it some issues. So we'll go ahead and do a Ken Burns crop in on this. See how it looks. Looks pretty good. Other than that warpage from the uh, image stabilization. Looks great. And I have to say, it looks pretty good. Now, this is my first look at this, still a better quality. Just want to make sure. And I'm going to do more tests with this to really put it through its paces because I want to see how far I can push it. But I am really impressed with the M4 processor and the price. Like I said, $499 right now. If you look around, you will find it that cheap. And that's pretty good. All right, let's see what else we can do here.
And that there, that's just from shooting in handheld. I can already tell. Oh, that looks good. I was hoping for some drop frames or something. Let's add some stabilization to this one. See how it does. See, if it's just adding stabilization, it moves pretty, it renders it pretty quick. Okay, so let's take a look at this now. Seems to work great. See a little bit of that warping from the image stabilization, but that's about it. Other than that, it looks really good. Yep. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I think I'm going to add some transitions because transitions are tough. Transitions always seem to stutter and drop frames. So I don't have enough, but I'm going to do it anyway. And it put one at the beginning and the end of this clip. So let's see what it does. Hmm. Okay, so I played pretty smooth on that. So let's see what happens. And then now I hadn't finished rendering. Now let's go back to the beginning. That's just me. It's just, it's in between the clips there. And see on the top left, it's still rendering. Okay, that was pretty smooth. So it's doable. With 8K footage, you can move through these clips without waiting for it to render. And see, there's a little bit of stuttering there, but I'll bet you that'll clean up perfectly once it's uh, rendered the clip. Still going through. So it will not finish rendering until I actually let it sit at idle. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so now it's finished rendering. So let's go ahead and go make sure we're still in better quality. And I'll go ahead and take that thing full screen. Okay, coming off that other clip. Okay, that one was very smooth. And let's see what it does on the exit. Looks good. So definitely with transitions, you're going to need it, let it render. And this is, like I said, an 8K, of course. Yeah. It looks really good. Well, guys, I got to say, I'm so impressed with this machine for its price point, And I'm going to push it through a lot more and see what it can do. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.